Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well yesterday we put together this sort of one page scrolling website in about 15 minutes using the fantastic Divi theme from uh, Elegant Themes. Divi theme just keeps getting better and better and adding and adding more and more features and easier and easier to use. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do recommend you check out Divi. And if you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Okay, in today's video, we're going to scrap this and see how quickly we can put together a multi-page website. So let's get started. Let's go to the dashboard. I'll close that down. The only thing that we're not going to cover, I won't go again, I've already loaded a logo in to this site from yesterday and to do that just go down to Divi theme options once in there on the general tab logo upload your logo there that's the only thing I'm not going to need to do today okay so let's get started first thing I want to do is create a few pages so let's go to our pages and let's create a new I'm going to say home page and we're going to use some of the Divi's fantastic templates today. I'm just going to call this one home. I'm going to hit use the Divi builder. I'm going to use a pre-made template plate and I'm going to use, browse the layouts here. And they've got, I don't know, 140 odd, well, 1036 total layouts. So let's choose a category. I guess let's try lifestyle. And let's go for the well, first one I see here, life coach. Let's try this one. I'm just going to left click on it. And I'm doing a home page. They've got a home page right here. So let's have a look at the live demo. Make sure it's going to fit in with what we want. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. That's going to work for me. So use this layout. OK, now that it's loaded, I'm going to go ahead and just publish this page. Now let's exit the Visual Builder. As you can see, it's got my logo from yesterday in there. That's absolutely fine. Let's add another page. I'm going to just go up here, add page. I guess this will be about us. I'm going to use the Divi Builder again. And again, let's go back to that same layout and grab another few pages from it. And it was in Lifestyle. It's this one. There we go, there's the about page. I'm just going to look, we've got a blog, we've got a life coach, we've got a contact. That's fine, I don't want the landing, that's kind of what we used yesterday for a one page scroller in the other site. So let's I'll click on about. I'm not even going to live demo it, I'm just going to use it. There it is, and again I'm going to hit the publish button. Exit the Visual Builder. And let's add another new page up the top here. New page. This one we'll call Life Coach. Again, use the Divi Builder. Back to lifestyle. Back to the theme we've been using here. There's that life coach page. Again, I'm not even going to preview it. I'm just going to use this layout. Great. Now let's publish and exit the visual builder. New page. I guess this will be a blog. 
again, use Divi Builder. Browse layouts. Back to where we were, lifestyle. Here's the blog. Use this layout. Hit the publish and last but not least we'll exit the visual builder and we'll do a contact page new page again use the Divi builder browse the layouts back to our lifestyle of course you can mix and match these pages if you want to it's entirely up to you I'm just going to use this one but you can use exactly what you want to use here's the contact I'm going to use this layout and let's publish and exit the visual builder Okay, that's it for our pages. Now we've got to make this all work. So let's go to our dashboard and let's create a menu for these pages. We created a menu yesterday for our one page, but we just use custom links for that. So let's go to appearance, menus. There's the one we did yesterday for our one little one page scroller. We're going to use a different one today. So up here edit your menu below or create a new menu we want to create a new one and I guess I'll call this multi for multi page site create menu now if we look over here and the pages if this is closed up just click on it it'll open up here's the pages that we created contact blog life coach about us and home Let's add those to the menu and they're kind of back to front so simply left click drag them into the order that you want them there we go and we'll save the menu now then what we need to do we need to go to our theme customizer and tell it what we want to be the home page now because yesterday we had the home page on the other menu and we've got to tell it what menu to use too. So we want this home page to be our home page, obviously. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go down to Divi, Theme Customizer. And the first thing, this is our site from yesterday. We don't want that as a home page anymore. In fact, if I was doing this, I would delete this anyway. Let's go to Home Page Settings and set this to our home for our home page if that makes any sense the new page we created called home and you'll see it change on the right hand side there it is there's the home page fantastic now let's go back and we want to set the menu to the correct menu at the top here at the moment that's the menu we created yesterday so let's go down to menus view all locations now this is our primary menu up here so let's select which menu we want and top was the one we created yesterday multi is the one we created today there we go and just for fun let's just change around the structure let's go back and back again let's go to header and navigation let's go to header format and let's have a look at centered that's pretty cool with the logo at the top and these underneath let's have a look at centered in line perhaps that might work better yeah that's fine that's fine it's a shame my logo is blue and white but I'm not going to change that today and publish our changes 
Now let's exit out of here and see what we've got. Let's go and visit the site. Here we have it. Here's our home page. Let's go to About Us. There's our About page. Life Coaching page. Blog page. Obviously, you'd want to create some blog posts to have in the blog page, but the styles will be here already. And Contact page. Fantastic. Well, you may say, well, that's very good, but I don't want all their junk, all the all their writing and pictures and stuff on there. Very easy to change. Divi makes it so simple. Just enable the visual builder. Once the visual builder is loaded, you can hover over any section and the orange or that'll be blue if it's uh, a regular section. If it's a duplicate section, it's orange like this. You just hit on the little cog. This will be column one, that'll be column two. Let's go to background. And if we go down a bit to the column one background, you can see it's this image. You can simply hit the trash can to replace it and put your own in there. Writing it's even easier. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll put my own name in there. Just go into the module like this. There it is, I'm Carly. Carly Johnson, Jensen? Well, I'm not. Save the changes. There we go. Um, unfortunately, I don't look as good as she does, but there you go. A lot of these you can actually just go in, change it. A lot of them you don't even need to go in. You can simply put your cursor somewhere and uh, just start typing not helping your friends now there's a button right there to make that go somewhere just simply hit on the cog go down to link and just put in whatever link you want I mean we could go to our contact page let's just copy the link address and make that go to the contact page paste that in there save that I won't go through any more. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just go in and change it to the content that you want to put in there. Like, like I say, buttons you can make go wherever you want. Save our changes. Hit the little purple button down here. Hit save. Once saved, exit the visual builder. And as you can see, the text has changed. And well, we didn't change that. Let's see if this takes us to the contact page. Let's talk. Yep, sure does. Takes us straight there, that little link that we put in. The only other thing I'll go over quickly here is contact form. Fantastic, but it's not going to do you much good unless it's sending to where you want it to go, i.e. your email address. So again, just enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go over down to the form here. Simply hit the cog. Blue section, green, row dark is for a module within a row. Hit the cog. You can change out your fields and customize. We will be doing custom sites after this. I was just showing you some templates, but the only thing you really need to worry about if you want to keep that layout is go down to email right here. Put in the email address that you want it to go to. Info at your site.com. or wherever you want this form to be sent to, which would be your email address usually. Um, one more thing, sometimes if you're getting spam, you might want to put a capture on there. If you do, just hit Elements, Show Capture, and as you can see, to stop bots or to stop most bots, you have to do a, a, a bit of addition there. So 10 plus 9, and you'd put in the answer of 19 before you'd be able to send the message. That's entirely up to you. I, I don't particularly want it, but if you're getting some spam, then that might be an idea. So let's save that. Let's save everything else. 
exit the visual builder hit the logo to go home and there you have it there's a one two three four five page website and we built that in about 15 or 20 minutes so there you have it there's another form down there of course you'd have to put your email address in there too fantastic well there you have it that is how to build a multi-page website in about 20 minutes with the fantastic divi theme from elegant themes i hope you've enjoyed that if you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.